Hey guys, and welcome to this week's episode of D3 Live. So today we're going to be talking about the best tablets available right now. So a lot of you guys are probably a little bit confused about, you know, there, you hear these tablets, so there's this, there's that, um, there's manufacturers, different OS's, there's all kinds of really confusing things. So what I aim to do today, explain a little bit about, you know, the best tablets, the pros and cons, all that kind of stuff. So the first one is pretty much what we've got to start with is the iPad 2. And the iPad 2, and of course the original iPad, is arguably what really kicked off all these tablets. You know, nobody really ever used tablets or anything. Apple came up with the iPad, all of a sudden everybody, you know, is just scrambling to get their own version. Um, now, the iPad 2, I'm just going to say this straight up front, is the best tablet across the board right now. Uh, you know, there are several really good tablets that are out right now, but most of them don't measure up, and as far as the future tablets go, we'll have to see about that. But as far as if you're just a, you know, a really simple user, you don't want to have the, the crazy stuff, you just want a nice tablet that works, gets on the internet, checks your email, watches movies, all that kind of stuff, the iPad 2 is going to be the way to go. Very thin, it now has two cameras. Admittedly, they're both really pretty bad, but it does have cameras, and that's better than not having anything at all. And it's really nice and thin, and it just works. That's why I really like the iPad too, and I really do recommend it if you're, you know, a, a very basic user. You don't really need to be doing crazy stuff. You just want to have something simple, get on the internet, all that kind of stuff. With, however, there are other alternatives, and some of them actually are better than the iPad depending on who you are. Uh, so the first one I want to start out with is the Motorola Zoom. This is the latest Google tablet, in fact, this is the first official Google tablet that runs the Android operating system. Uh, a lot of you guys might have heard of Android. It's what runs a lot of phones, such as the Droid, um, and a wide, wide variety of phones. And it has now been expanded and tweaked to work on a tablet. Uh, now, the uh, official operating system is called Android 3.0 Honeycomb, and it does work really well. It's got a lot of really cool features. Um, you know, there's a lot of potential there. However, one of the major things that kind of hurts the Zoom and indeed lots of other tablets that will be running the same software is that there's not a whole lot of apps. The iPad 2 has hundreds of thousands of apps available, whether it's for the iPhone, which it does run, of course, for, or for the iPad itself. However, with, with the Zoom and, of course, like I said, the rest of the Android tablets, um, it can still run other Android apps for the phones, but as far as tablet-specific apps, there are very, very few. So that's one of the major things. Um, another is the price. Uh, Zoom's a little bit more expensive. And finally, what really hurts it, in my opinion, for a lot of people, is the fact that it's not fully baked. Uh, I know that's going to kind of sound a little bit weird, but as far as just the usability, the overall polish and everything, the Zoom is definitely down quite a bit from the iPad. Uh, so those are the two major tablets that are on sale right now. However, there are, if you're uh, interested in maybe waiting another couple of months or indeed a couple of weeks, um, there are going to be many, many more tablets, lots of different choices available. Uh, so I'm going to go through these a little bit quicker. Obviously, they're not out yet. Um, but the first one is the BlackBerry Playbook. Now, I've had a hands-on of this earlier this year, and we've been hearing a lot about it. And this is BlackBerry's tablet, and it's got a lot of really cool things going for it. Um, so it's got, of course, a 7-inch display, which is a little bit smaller than the iPad and the Zoom. However, that does give you some advantages as far as it being easier to uh, you know, carry around all that kind of stuff. Um, it's got a really cool operating system, uh, really nice, smooth, and responsive. I'm definitely looking forward to taking a look at the Playbook, which comes out in a little over two weeks. So that's definitely one to keep your eye on. And then there are a couple of others. Um, HP is actually getting into the tablet market with the HP Touchpad. Uh, this is, again, going to be a very unique uh, device. It's going to be about the same size as an iPad, but the software is really solid. It runs WebOS, which you guys might have heard of. It is on a few phones, and it also has been expanded out to work on a tablet. Uh, this is going to be coming a little bit later in the summer, uh, but again, definitely want to keep an eye on it. It's got a lot of really cool things going for it. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week's episode of D3 Live. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. I do D3 Live every Saturday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. So you can subscribe, watch the edited videos on YouTube, or come on, uh, watch it on live on Blog TV and watch all the technical difficulties and everything that uh, goes on behind the scenes. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.